Hi, Jonathan Pickup, and welcome to my movie about layer combinations. Now, you may not know what they are or where they are, but they're down here, and they're vitally important to make sure that you see exactly what you want to see in your drawings. We're going to start by looking at something like our roof plan. I'd really like to show everything to start with. Let's have a look at everything. You can see all my doors. Now, I go down the bottom here, and I have a look, and I want to look at floor plan. Now, you notice that some things are still visible. This is still visible. This is my roof coverings. And I know it's my roof coverings because up here it says Des roof coverings. So on this layer combination, I actually want to make roof coverings disappear. So let's have a look at what a layer combination is. We need to go to this button here, the layer settings. Now for plan floor, this shows us which layers are visible. I'll just stretch this out. So this is the eyeball. This means that it's visible. Now, the ArchiCAD layer can never be turned off. It's just not possible. But these other ones. So let's have a look down here. We've got one here called Roof Coverings. Now, we want to make this one invisible. So we need to click on the eyeball. That'll make it invisible. But what we also need to do is make sure this is highlighted, planned floor, and click on the Update button. And what that means is that from now on, Des Roof Coverings will be invisible whenever we call planned floor. So planned floor, it's invisible. Let's go back down to here because we've also got wall coverings turned on. So what we might decide is that we want to rename this and call it plan floor or, or floor framing. There's already a plan floor framing, which we could use instead. But let's have a look at plan floor. Let's say, for example, Des wall coverings. Here they are here. They're visible. We may not want to see those. So we click there, update that, and it turns it off. Now, not only does it change it here, but I've already created some drawings. So let's quickly go to and have a look at the floor plan. Let's have a look at the floor plan. Now, did you notice that the roof coverings were visible and then suddenly they disappeared? And they disappeared because this drawing here or the same view is linked to the layer combinations. How does that work? Well, it's linked through the saved views. So let's have a look here. Right click. Let's edit our view settings. And here in our view settings, you can see that the layer combination plan floor is linked to this particular save view, this viewport. What that means is that when I make changes to the layer combination, the changes are actually flowing through the documents or flowing through the drawings and changing all of my saved views. So if I set them up correctly, I will see the information I want and it will hide when I want. Okay to that. So let me go through that again. Let's go back to our layer combination. Let's find Des wall coverings. And now we were looking at plan floor and we turned off Des wall coverings. Let's turn them back on, update. And what we should see is my wall coverings will reappear here. Let's update that. And there they are. The wall coverings have updated and now the wall coverings are visible. So if we don't want to see the wall coverings, we need to go to LA Combinations, find our DES wall coverings, hide them, update those, and then OK. So this is a way of making sure that your drawings reflect exactly the information that you want. So let's right click, let's update that, and the coverings have gone. Now all I need to do is put some dimensions on here, and that will be my floor plan completed. So let's just quickly go over that again. The layer combinations show what's visible. So let's just go over this again. So the layer combinations show views that give information that you want to have. For example, we want to see everything. Or we want to see the foundations. You notice my walls have gone for the foundations. We might want to see the plumbing plan and so on. Now this is just a simple building and you don't see that many changes. If we want to update our layer combinations, do not just hide information. So let's go back to here. Let's choose all. So the worst way to set up drawings is to select one of these things, hide that layer. Great. There's our roof there. Let's hide that as well. Hide the layer. This is not the way to set up your drawings because they end up with custom. And there's no way to edit that custom view when you set up your drawings. If you use a layer combination, like planned floor. This is a way to link what you see here to your drawings. 
And if you want to make changes, you click on this, you find the one you want, wall coverings, you make it visible, update your view, and the coverings appear here, but not only here, they also appear in your saved view, and they also appear on your drawings. So this is a great way of tying all your information together from your views through to your drawings. You really have to use land combinations correctly, and if you don't, your drawings will suffer because of it. So for this particular view, I don't want to see wall coverings. Let's update that. OK. And now when I put dimensions on my plan, so let's go back to my floor plan. I'm going to dimension this now. So I need an overall dimension first. Now my framing dimensions. So I just click at each corner of the window, at each corner of the door. And I'm doing the outside of the door. Click there, double click to finish and place the dimension. Now when I go back to my floor plan up here, those dimensions should appear. And if they don't appear, it's because I've got something turned off or I've put those objects on the incorrect layer. So let's select one of those. It's on the dock floor layer. Down here we need to check our layer combinations and we're looking for dock floor. What have we got? Dock floor. And you can see it's got the eyeball. If I turn that off and update it, it will disappear from here and it will also disappear from my drawing. So just to remind you, layer combinations are vitally important and you should always keep your layer combinations updated correctly. If you like this movie, give me a thumbs up. It really helps people to find my movies. And also click on the subscribe button.